This is Nostoc. It's a type of blue-green alga, one of the uh, cyanobacteria. You often find it growing on concrete or tarmac. Sometimes it seems to suddenly appear from nowhere, which is because during the dry weather it dries up and becomes black and uh, hard to see. But as soon as it rains, it absorbs water, goes back to this sort of brown-green colour. Uh, for that reason, the, the puzzlement of its sudden arrival is sometimes called star jelly. Another common name for it is witch's butter, not to be confused with the fungus of that name. It can grow on concrete, tarmac and other low-nutrient substrates because it contains a particular structure within its cells, one of which is called a heterocyst. And the heterocyst is able to fix nitrogen from the air. So it's able, in many ways, to make its own nutrients. It doesn't rely on the soil. But it is beneficial, because wherever it is, um, it will give the same nitrates to the surrounding plants. It exists, actually, as single-cell structures, um, forming filaments, and they produce a sort of mucilage. So that's why it has the appearance of a, a typical seaweed, which it's not. Nostoc is one of many species, some of which are actually edible. They're able to survive on this very tough habitat by having special structures called aconites. And aconites are specialised cells within the filaments that are able to withstand extremely dry conditions for long periods of time. Nostoc is very hard to get rid of. It'll fry where there, where there are source of nutrients like phosphates or any fertilisers or anything of that nature will encourage their growth. Perhaps the best way is simply to scrape them up and compost them. These brown structures on the surface are just the seeds of a nearby uh, birch tree.